1970s at Indiana. They had an experimental curriculum department at the College of Arts and Sciences. And the deal was this. If you had a course that was non-traditional that you wanted to teach at the university and could then appear before a panel of deans and professors and convince them that your course was worthy of academic credit, you could wind up teaching a very unique course to college students for credit. This to me was a golden opportunity. I decided I was going to teach the world's first college accredited course on comic books. The dean, with his eyeglasses sitting right at the end of his nose, looking down at me over them, said, so you're the fellow who wants to teach a course on funny books at my university? Mr. Uslin, I appreciate what you're trying to do. I used to read comic books all the time. Superman was my favorite when I was a kid. But comic books are cheap entertainment. They're junk. You can't convince me that they're modern day folklore or contemporary mythology. And I looked at him and I said, are you familiar with the story of Moses? He said, yes. I said, could you summarize for me the story of Moses? He then said, all right, um, Hebrew couple um, had a son, firstborn. The firstborn were being killed, so they put their infant son in a little wicker basket and sent him down the River Nile. And he was later discovered by an Egyptian family who raised him as their own. And then he grew up, he became this great hero to his people. I said, that's great. You said you read Superman comics? He said, yeah, I used to read them all the time. I said, do you remember the origin of Superman? He said, sure, planet Krypton was about to explode. And a scientist and his wife take their infant son and put him in a little rocket ship and send him to the planet Earth, where he's discovered by the Kents, who raise him as their own. And he stopped and he looked at me and he said, your course is accredited. Well, my life changed rather quickly because one day, shortly thereafter, I get a call, and it's from Stan Lee. 